leader of the pack. Hello, my name is Austin Pedersen. As you just saw me do some tricks, I obviously skate. And proper maintenance of your board is very important. That way you can skate and your bearings stay good, stay clean, and roll off, do all your cool tricks. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to take off your wheels and replace your bearings. That way you can keep them clean and you can stay skating. That's what I want to do. So we're going to go through, I'm going to teach you how to take off your bearings and then replace them. Alright, as you can see now, right now I'm taking off the nut that secures your wheel to your wheel and your bearings actually to your truck. Right now, I'm going to take off all the wheels, and, and now you can see this is actually this is called the truck. These are the wheels inside this part right here. This is called a bearing. So we're going to be taking off today. This is the deck, obviously. And right now, we're going to take off the bearings and all the wheels, actually, so we can do some maintenance. As you can see, I'm using a half inch. I'm using a half inch, uh, half inch wrench to take off all the bearings because that's the size the nut is for your trucks. Uh, usually doesn't differ depending on what kind of trucks you get. Pro trucks usually have all have half inch nuts. Uh, but when you go into Walmart boards and other amateur boards, you usually are gonna have gonna fluctuate in different types of nuts. So right now, I'm going to continue taking these off, so you can eventually take off your bearings. Okay. All right, as you can see now, I'm gonna take off the bearing from the wheel, and now there's different ways that people do this. Some people actually buy a special tool that is made to use these. Um, it's made to take these off and then they can press back on. It's called a bearing compressor. And But there's a cheap way to do it and it works just as well. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to use my truck actually. I'm just going to take it, put it halfway through on the bearing, apply pressure at an angle, and I'm going to pop off the bearing. As you can see, pass off the bearing. I'm going to go through. I'm going to do that to each side of the wheel for all four wheels. Alright, I'm going to keep doing this until I've popped off every bearing. And I can finally replace my bearings with new ones on the wheels. As you can see now, I've got eight brand new Bones bearings. They're Bones Reds. It's the kind of brand I like. That's my personal preference in bearings. Different people have different preferences. Personally, I think um, Bones Reds are the best bearings you can get. Uh, but if you'd prefer different f kinds, like there's Lucky, there's plenty of different, different types of brands of bearings you can get. Well, I have eight new on this red bearings, and I'm going to pop them in like so. What are you going to do is so you're just going to place each bearing in with the bearing cover side out. See the red part? That's your bearing cover right here that goes inside. So you're going to do that out, pop it in. Now, with your hand, you're not going to be able to get the bearing in all the way. So luckily, what you have, once again, your truck is going to be your friend. You're not going to need one of those fancy tools. All you have to do, do like so, pops the compresses the bearing right in. Alright, now that you have your new bearings on, 
You ready to skate? Okay, I uh, think you've learned enough for today. You gonna go skate?